Hi everybody from a fabulous day in Skyrim. I'm looking at two tiny homes today by the same mod author. That's Dex Mods, also known as Schlaffenzeit. The first one is an igloo home. It's called Scorner. I'll show you where we are. In the middle of blooming nowhere. <laughs> not not really. There's um, a Frostmere crypt, so it's not far from there. And the Lord Stone, that's where you'll get the key. It's in a barrel. Uh, you can't miss it. There's only one there. And this is the home. How novel. I love that, don't you? Something completely different and so out there. Ignore the pony. I don't know where he's come from. He's following me everywhere. So, yeah, it's a charming structure. Love, love, love. So beautiful. There, obviously, there are no windows in there. And it's kind of, you know, appropriate for this part of the world. After being in the wastelands in uh, Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4, this is just heaven coming back to Skyrim, I tell you. Oh, this scenery, these vistas. Okay, indoors. So, as you can see, the inside matches the outside. It's for the soul adventurer. And here's your alchemy lab. Super cute. Name storage, arcane enchanter right there. Love that picture. Oh, they're all charming, actually. Check that out. So well done, don't you think? Weapon barrel, meal for one. What a lovely little stopover place, you know? Take butter from churn, cooking pot. There's her cat. <laughs> and more storage. Plus a comfy bed. How nice. I am all about this. To me, this is just a perfect little stopover. Very nicely done. It's not overdone, you know? And it all feels very tranquil and warm in here. All right, so that's number one. We'll head over to number two. Okay, our second home is called Varbaril, and it's a Bosma home. Uh, we're at an unnamed tower. I'll show you where this is on the map. Uh, there's Steepfall Barrow. I literally just came up the hill from there to find the tower. There's all sorts of blood and guts and stuff around, and the key will be in that chest. And that key will take you to the home, which isn't far at all. Uh, that's, that's another mod. It's just here. So this one is also super tiny and very, very cute. She's done her usual thing with the crafting outside here. There's the smelter, tanning tools, workbench, anvil and sharpening. All there, nice and tidy. Cute little home, isn't it? What a nice looking place. And there's also a wood chopping block. And a few logs to get you through the winter. Nice and lovely views, wow. Beautiful place. All right then. So again, just one room. Somewhere to sit and eat. This is for the singleton. Nice big bowl of soup and an iron sword, alchemy lab, recipe storage. Again, lots of name storage in here. Cooking pot and a butter churn. Pretty. And your arcane enchanter, soul gem storage. Look at that bed. How lovely is that? That is so nice. It looks really comfy. And the little fish in the jar. Even a bit of seaweed in there. That's adorable. Plus a shine of Ifra. And I think that's uh, marksmanship. Gives you a nice little boost. So, this is the backstory for the home. And I do enjoy it. I know I always say it. I appreciate it very much when mod authors go that extra mile and they give you some you know nice detail as to how this home's come about <laughs> so 
It's quite the story. Oh, if you found the key, you're welcome here. Respect the place and do not harm any of the plant life in this home. How adorable. Mm. I'm just glad the fish is still alive. <laughs> so, blood potion crafting also. It's got it all going on. I love those windows. Rustic windows. I remember one of my viewers mentioning that to me a long time ago. And it's been one of my absolute staples ever since. It's a brilliant mod. Okay, well that's it for the two tiny homes. I hope you loved them. Do let me know what you think about them down in the comments, whether you'd use them. And I will see you very soon for the next video. Take care and stay safe, everybody.